Hey guys, it's me again. Seems to be the only person that ever comes on this channel, but um, <clears throat> it's Whiskey Bloke, so that obviously means that you are just in time for another Dram Good review. So, what have we got for us today? Well, there's a box, and it's empty. And the reason it's empty is because I've already taken the bottle out. So, no doubt you can read that. Mm, my dog. Uh, Macall Great, Macallan. That's a lovely rex, that is so nice. The Callan, 12 year old. Okay, now this video, a few purposes. Review McAllen 12. I'd also like to dedicate this video to two people. First person, yeah, okay, thank you, thank you for that. Little toy he wants me to throw it. First person I'm going to dedicate this video to is Gail Cleaver. Now the reason for me dedicating this video to Gail Cleaver uh, is because I met Gail when I went to the McAllen Distillery and she's going to want to know that I am who I say I am. So Gail, when you watch this video, no doubt you remember the guy who didn't shut up at the front of the queue. This guy. I would have been better if I said, no doubt you remember the bloke. Yeah, I know. You're gorgeous, I know. Now that you remember the bloke at the front of the queue who didn't shoot up, but then I would have gone, this bloke, whiskey bloke, that would have been better. But, you know, I've never been one to deliver goods like that. Um, the other person I'd like to dedicate this video to is Swami Mantu Montreal. Um, he is uh, an American guy that lives in Canada. Um, and he's always banging on about McAllen, literally McAllen, 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 always. So I just thought, you know, if I dedicate, I've got a one board in this, my dog just gave it to me. If I dedicate this to him, he'll be really happy. Let's just put that there. What are you going to do now? Oh, actually, I can't do that, sorry. sorry. Have it. So, let's pour it then. This is McAllen 12, exclusively matured in selected sherry casks from Janice. Um, and believe it or not, it's from the Callum Distillery, but not the new one. Yes, you are lovely. Getting all the limelight and attention. Do you want to come up here? Up here? Come here. Come and get on the video. He's a big boy now. You probably remember the time he climbed up my shoulder. He wouldn't fit there now. No, he would not, because he's a big boy. Yeah. Oh. Look at this. He just wants this toy, that's all he wants. Let's put that in his mouth. Lovely little chap, isn't he? Oh, I don't know where he gets the heavy breathing from. Anyway, so McAllen 12. Let's pour that into this glass. Get me some McAllen 12. The song I'm working on. You are probably not going to be familiar with my other hits. Um, the Callan Genesis. Give me a big bottle of Callan Genesis. Not released that one yet, still working on the chorus. But there you go. Let that breathe for a bit. Speaking of not being able to deliver things very well, I, <laughs> I, uh, I heard a joke the other day, every time I tried to repeat it, it's gone wrong, but I practiced it a few times, so I'll give it a go. Um, my neighbour came around the other day, we're having a chat, and basically, no, that's the wrong intro, sorry, let's start that again. My neighbour came around the other day, knocked my door. No, no, that's confusing because already okay. My neighbour knocked my door, I opened my door, my neighbour was stood there, um, and she, she, was really upset, she was really noticeably upset, and she was like, someone's been stealing 
things off my washing line. And I went, oh no, that's terrible. She went, yeah, do you know anything about that? And I went, oh, anybody told me. She went, yeah, someone's been stealing items of clothing I'd rather not have stolen. And I was like, honestly, don't know anything about that. She went, oh, fine. I left. I shut the door. I tell you what, I nearly pooed my pants. <laughs> oh, flipping it. I nearly pooed her pants. It's not even worth trying, is it? Oh well. Um, anyway, let's get on with this then, because that just failed. I'll add it on its face, you know? Fun fact. It is illegal for the Queen to land on her face. First off, it smells lovely. I wouldn't mind if my aftershave smelled like this. In fact, tomorrow for work, I might even wear this on my face. Actually, if I get pulled over, it could be in trouble. In fact, if I get pulled over, they'll probably go, Oh, sir, you smell delightful. You smell like... You smell like you've had a sherry influence. You smell like you've bathed in apple. So on. I'll do the rest as me. Cherry apple. This one. Oh, wait. God, that's delicious. Just from the smell. I've got to hand it to the guys at McCallum. This is nice. But the nose can mislead. What's that famous proverb? The nose is treacherous and who can know it? I'm sure that's it. In my heart of hearts, that's it. Won't be persuaded otherwise. It's very sweet. It's got a real floral influence. It's only 40% volume. Better turn it to the full. <laughs> no, ABV 40%. Really good. The sweetness is coming out in there's more sweetness to it. Hopefully that's going to come out a bit more in a minute, but... It's like, uh... The sherry influence is delicious. I'm a big fan of sherry influence. I feel like a song could be broken out right now by the Jersey Boys. Later. <sighs> you know the one I mean, don't you? I'm dying to sing it to you right now. Should I sing it? <sighs> Cherry! Cherry baby, Cherry! Ginger. Oh, I've had another whiskey bloke email come through. I'll read that in a minute. Fan mail! Great. I love fan mail. Don't get it often, but when I do, it's lovely. Comments are a version of fan mail, but this is direct to me, so you know everyone can see it, so. Secretive. Naughty. Not good. I'll tell you what, there's a real strong influence of ginger. There's an ale you can get in Blanford. Badges Brewery. It's called Blanford Flyer. Return the paper, guys. That's got a real ginger influence. It's my favourite ale they do. You can only get it from their brewery, I believe. I don't know. I don't live there. I don't think anyone lives in the brewery. Well, I'm going to taste this now because I'm getting a bit impatient. I want to have something nice. Mm-hmm. 
There's a lot of sweetness in there. It's quite fruity, but I'd say it was like fruit peel. You're right there, folks. See? Come here. Fruit peel. So some fruit peels in there. Really nice. Um, baby boy. Just going to this out there. I don't know if he's in shop, but if he is, great. If he's not, don't worry about it. Um, yeah, the fruitness. The fruitiness, sorry. Um, like a fruit peel. Like, when I say fruit peel, I'm not talking like banana. No, I'm talking orange peel, that kind of thing. You're being extra loud this time, Rex. I wonder if anyone's noticed. Other fruit would be like plum. It tastes a little bit like, um, got the, got the ring of like marmalade to it, which is quite nice. See how deceptive the nose was there? And apart from the sherry bit, it's a little bit floral, but the nose led me to believe it was going to be that. And actually now I'm over here. The nose is treacherous. Who can know it? Um... The sweetness just continues to follow. You are panting badly, Rex. Right? Go and get yourself a drink. Go and get yourself a drink. Go on, help yourself to one. Go and get a like a bullet. Hmm. I like the way the sweetness just continues to play with my tongue. It keeps coming back, reminding me that it was quite a sweet little whiskey. Still a bit fruity. The marmalade was good. Ah, here we are. I must have just been being ignorant to that because there it is quite clearly. There are notes of vanilla as well. You know I couldn't smell it. Because earlier on, I washed the inside of my nose with vanilla. And that's made me not realise the smell of vanilla anymore. I do that sometimes. I use different ingredients. It's great. Apart from when I used chilli powder, that wasn't too good. Anyway. It's good on the nose. For a 12 year old, this is rating well. Mm. Very easy to drink. Mm. The finish is a good length. It lingers. It stays sweet in the whole all of it was very sweet for me. It's got a very solid kind of oak ring to it on the finish. Make sure my whole tongue has a chance to contribute. Ooh. Small amount of spice. Not a lot of spice, just a bit, which is pleasant. The sherry influence is still there. I'm really pleased that that's followed me. I do like a good sherry influence. Um, the sweetness is almost like a smoked sweetness. But not smoky like you think smoky when it comes to whiskey. Just like a smoked... You imagine Toffee that used to be a 40 a day guy and now he's onto his vaping. The inside of that toffee, I'd imagine, would taste like smoke. That kind of smokiness, not smoke. Smoke. Not smoky. I've got a very good job of explaining that. Oh no! Um, anyway, uh, yeah, so that's, that's my review, the Callan 12. I quite like it. I want to come up with a, a unique way to rate these. I'm thinking something like. I want to do something that's not been done before with my whiskies. I don't really, I personally don't like it when people rate their whiskies because I'm not more, that's your opinion. You know, I've come here to get your input and see what you identify to guide me along, baby. But 
yeah, maybe you come here for the charisma, the fun, <laughs> you know. My problem is I take myself too seriously. I think people are put off by how serious I am in my reviews. They don't, they, people like humour and I just can't do it. So, I can't, yes. Anyway, not the point. But rating whiskey, some people like doing it, some people don't. I want to try something completely unique, never been done before. I'm thinking of calling it malt marks. So, what do you think? Should I do that? Is it a good idea? Should I rate my whiskies? I could have something there, a little card or something. I just want to do something that no one's done before, you know? Anyway, I'll think about it. I'll make the decision. It's up to me. I'm the boss at the end of the day. My channel. You guys just need to be nice in the comments because I can't take any more right now, okay? Anyway, I've got two bits of fan mail. Oh, one of them just came in. So let's read these. Scan my thumbprint, okay. That's not it. I appear to not have Gmail open. Bear me one second. Gmail, ooh, brand awareness. Return the favor, Google. Uh, okay, here we go. First bit, I haven't even read this one yet. I'll read the first one I got from earlier today. Where is it? There, I haven't even read it, so let's have a look. There we go. Hot Russian bride note. I don't actually think that is uh, fan mail for me. I don't know what that is. Um, okay, well, let's read the other one that came in. Look at that. That was actually from my neighbour, Sam. Oh, okay. Mate, I can hear you singing. Quiet down, please. Some of us have work tomorrow. I bought it tomorrow as well. I always say anything. I'm not scared of him. I said to his face. If you want to start this video, I'm not going to bring politics into this. This isn't about that. Doesn't even bother me. Uh, anyway. Yeah, so that was it. That was my Drown Good review of Macallan 12. Swami. Your turn to dedicate a video to me, Gail, your turn to put me on the list for the Genesis. Don't let me down, both of you, all right? I'll see you on this video.